2017 when she made her official entry in music in 2017. Reggae muffin, reggae beat, eh? Dance all on the street, eh? Now she's the most rotated female artist in Jamaica. Perhaps the most rotated period and makes her debut right here on our stage. Diamond Sox singer Ibamar is very excited about his latest release and eager to share it with you. We will have it for you. Another UK based female dance solo rises. We will give you her first video. Jamaican supermodel Stacey McKenzie lends her celebrity to raising funds for local charities. And she will be here. All coming up, plus this week's E News reviews and video stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. And the stories now making our E! News and reviews this week. Energy God Elephant Man was this week the topic of discussion in social media after a viral video with what appears to be a gun being handed to him by a female made its way around various platforms. The video in question drew the attention of police who brought him in for questioning on Thursday. Attorney at law representing the DJ Christopher Townsend said the video may have been doctored. Well, on Friday, after talks with the police, Elephant Man was given his free paper and was not charged. Yep, I'm out! Another one for Busy Signal, a brand endorsement that is. Sunshine Snacks announced that Busy Signal is their latest brand ambassador, adding to his already extensive list, making Busy Signal the most brand associated dancehall artist in history. Yeah, no, it's another one, and it's a blessing. It's a blessing on top of blessings, and you know, me always thankful. You know, when, when these things happen, you know, to especially, you know, what I mean, when, when whoever know me and know the journey. And see when these things happen, should be happy for me and happy for Jamaica, happy for the brand, happy for the Caribbean. Yeah, man. And where this one is concerned, it's more than just you doing an ad for them. You're a brand ambassador. Yeah, a brand ambassador um, for Sunshine Snacks Peanut at the, at the moment. Sunshine Snacks Peanut, busy signal, a brand ambassador. I'm so honored. Looking forward to a great, great, great relationship with you know with both brands and you know just to keep it swinging. And as I see, the tagline is the power up stuff, and we have to just get it powerful. Yeah, man, get it powerful. The announcement was made at the R Hotel in New Kingston on Monday afternoon. And speaking of hotels, on Sunday in Montego Bay, dignitaries including the current Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness, and past Prime Ministers Portia Simpson Miller and PJ Patterson attended the official opening of the S Hotel, a 120-room posh oasis on Montego Bay's famous hip strip. We're trying to portray the best of Jamaica. We are in a very special setting with Doctor's Cave here, a unique uh, beach, world renowned, and so we tried to create a hotel that really matched with what we are, you know, what what the beach was. Uh, we wanted to also give it a Jamaican feel. We have um, Bob Marley legend albums in the room with a record player. We have Dominoes. We have a Red Stripe Bear with daisies, and we have pictures of Jamaicans from all walks of life. We call it Heart and Soul. Another tagline was the cultural museum you can sleep in. About what is special about the hotel? I know there's a pool that everybody is talking about. The see-through pool on the on the sky lounge. Tell us about that. Pool on the on the sky deck. We also have rooms that are called spa suites. They have their the showers that are nine feet long and six feet wide, and um, amazing. Um, and, and they also have tubs, freestanding tubs that are wrapped in wicker. So when you get to see the room, you'll understand why you know why it's called a spa suite. And we also have in the base, in the in the lower level part of our spa, we have three ancient pools that are marble pools, small marble pools that are warm, hot, and cold for the circulation therapy benefits. The hotel, which was formerly Breezes, is the sister hotel of Spanish Court in Kingston and takes on the EP model, short for European Plan, which basically means none all inclusive. Montego Bay, I think the people who wanted to see us get this hotel wanted to see us get it because they thought we would not focus on us all inclusive. We do have meal plan options, but it's a hotel you can come to. 
you can come and visit family friends eat with them it's not a day pass situation you know you have to be um well you have to be a registered guest to use the pool facilities but outside of that you can come into the property and you know meet family and friends or dine if you just want to come for a breakfast lunch or dinner the s hotel is now open to the public Red Stripe on Friday, January 25, showcased their commitment to Jamaican music with the inauguration of Red Stripe Live, a live series that will feature Jamaican artists at various venues throughout the year. On this occasion at the Red Stripe Oval on Spanish Town Road, the Gangster Pasta, Tiffa, Agent Sasco, and Rygin King. Why do me and you don't go into business together? What kind of business? When it comes to Caribbean movies right now, the buzz is around a Bahamian production called Cargo. I don't deal in the slave trade. A gripping story about the realities of human trafficking in the Caribbean. You lied to me. I need my money back now. The film, which had a private screening on January 23rd at Carib, has received rave reviews and is now showing at theaters on the island. <laughs> All right, here she is now, the latest British-based Jamaican dancehaller rising in music. The female we're talking about is Alakai Harley, and in this video, she's giving us instructions. Alright, so those are the stories making our e-news reviews and video stage for this week. Stay with us right here on stage, still to come. She was only 17 when she made her official music entry in 2017. Now she is the most rotated female artist in Jamaica, perhaps the most rotated period. And she will be making her debut right here on our stage. Meanwhile, Diamond Sox singer Ibamar is very excited about sharing his latest release with you right here on our stage. But first, Jamaican supermodel Stacey McKenzie lends her celebrity to raising funds for local charities after the break. Oh, get him out where I Vogue named her one of five Jamaicans who changed the face of mainstream international fashion forever. She's Stacey McKenzie, TV personality, motivational speaker, and most of all, a Jamaican supermodel who is lending her celebrity to the 2019 Sigma Run on February 17, right here in Jamaica. Stacey, Hello. so good to have you. Thank you for having me again. It's a pleasure to be on. Welcome, yes. Yeah. Welcome one, to, <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Show. We've had you before. <laughs> yes. Welcome back home, baby. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy to be back home. Okay, so what are you doing mo with most of your time these days? Modeling, uh, mot motivational speaking, yes. or just judging contests? I'm, I'm doing a lot. Um, you know, I'm still modeling. I just, uh, I, I choose you know, particular jobs to do nowadays because I'm not the 16, 17, 20 year old girl I used to be. Mm -hmm. um, so I am still doing some particular modeling jobs. Um, I also have my own company, Walk This Way Workshops, where I train aspiring models. Okay. And um, you know, I've been doing that for about 12 years now. And I also have a camp where I give um, 30 girls a free two week camp every summer. Um, it's been going on for about six years now in Canada. And I'm finally bringing it back home to Jamaica this summer, the last week of July, first week of uh, August. And what else? I'm also, as a TV personality, I'm the new model coach, runway coach, and mentor on America's Next Top Model. Mm -hmm. Previously, I was the judge and model coach and mentor on Canada's Next Top Model, which is no longer. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of the American one and a part of the new team. And, um, yeah, that's what I've been up to. So you're... Yes, bit, I'm, I'm very busy. So, ah, very busy. Thanks uh, be to the most I got, you know? Okay, so yeah. where's Jamaica? these days in Where's terms Jamaica? of international <laughs> fashion modeling in terms of modeling for me for jamaica for jamaica oh, speak no. now generally oh. of where jamaica is positioned in international modeling oh no like the there are so many models right now like tammy williams 
Um, you know, there's, I can't, there's a, there's a young girl, Christine, I don't remember her last name, but there's quite a big, bit of Jamaican models that's breaking into the international scene and making a big splash mm -hmm. in the industry. They're doing like high fashion modeling, like the Gucci's, the Louis Vuitton's, um, you know, the Chanel's, they're doing, uh, I mean, Tammy just did Victoria's Secrets, which right. is huge, mm -hmm. you know, for a model to be able to land a campaign as Victoria's Secrets. So, um, I, and, and the runway show as Victoria's Secrets as well. So, um, on what type of a level Jamaican models are, are on nowadays, it's, it's definitely more open and definitely a lot more Jamaican models on the scene than before. The gate is more. open. Oh, big time. And, so you and they're killing it. Like, we are killing it big time on the runways, in magazines, in editorials, in advertorials, advertising campaigns. They're killing it majorly. So you say to young girls in Jamaica, aspiring models mm -hmm. in Jamaica now, mm -hmm. what do you say to them? What's your quick message? What I would say to them, my quick message would be, it's very important for them to first and, all, first and foremost love and own who they are because this is an industry that could eat you up if you are not like mentally and you know like mentally and you know um self like have a strong sense of self mm -hmm. you can get caught up into the prettiness of the industry so it's very important for you to love and own who you are first and foremost and accept everything about you your flaws and all because mm -hmm. every one of us have flaws and then now if this is an industry that you want to get into it's very important for you to you know like treat it as a business Okay. Just get when you get into this. If you have the opportunity to get into this industry as a model, treat it as a business. Go in, do your job, and get out. Mm -hmm. Right? Go home and then go back to normal. Wow. Right? Don't get caught up into the prettiness of the industry because it could sway you into certain things that you know they could get involved with that is not healthy, not a healthy lifestyle, and not, it won't be good for them. All right. So, <laughs> so let's let's talk Sigma now. Yes. What's the motivation for you? And, and, and joining um, the run? Well, originally the motivation was, um, you know, it's a company that's given back to my people, mm -hmm. which is very much needed in Jamaica. But then when I heard, um, you know, from the beneficiaries, like Maypen, the Maypen Hospital's neonatal unit, like the type of things that they have to use um, in order for like, you know, those young babies to get like, you know, proper health, proper care, mm -hmm. it was, it floored me. It really from like they hardly had like the right like you know instruments that's needed or right you know machines that's needed in order to help these young babies you know to like you know help them facilitate them and you know to to, to be better yeah. and to, to to you know to to be well and there's also even babies that were left at the hospital that's been there for like eight nine years and their parents never came back for them so once i heard even those stories on top of that like with the diabetes foundation of jamaica mm -hmm. um you know like the things that us you know, my fellow Jamaicans go through that have diabetes, you know, and like, you know, and the obstacles that they go through and like not having the help, you know, to be a part of this event, you know, being a patron and being a ambassador for the Sigma corporate run is definitely, um, you know, a blessing for me because it's, me to be, it's for me to be able to lend my platform in the hopes of like, you know, we could raise those funds in order to get those machines and things needed in order to help, you know, the foundation, the beneficiaries like the Diabetes Foundation, um, the, Lupus Found the Lupus Foundation of Jamaica, Diabetes Association, and Maypen's neonatal unit uh, uh, hospital. Uh -oh. So it's, it was a no brainer right there. Like first I wanted to get into it because of it being a charity and giving back. But once I hear those stories and heard those stories, it touched me deeply. And I, you know, for me, it was like, I really, really have to like give 150%, 200% in order to help make this happen. Will you finish the five Ks? I mean, I know, Running. No, honestly, okay. First of all, I used to be a sprinter, even though recently I got run out. <laughs> but that's yeah. another story. Um, I will finish it. And how, Okay, and how I'm gonna finish it? Because there's another, there's two, there's another part of it now. There's a strut side of it. Mm -hmm. Strut <laughs> strut, your there's stuff. There's either you strut, you walk, <laughs> you run, your or stuff. the wheel. So I'm well, gonna strut, walk, and run. Okay, you, 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 okay, you'll be, you be doing up, but you'll be finishing. I'm, I'm gonna finish it. Okay, that's I'm gonna good. push myself Fair to finish enough. it. Yes, are you gonna do it? Ah, well, I, I'm, I'm thinking of, about Why it. Why are you thinking about it? Yeah, I, Hello, I'm okay. putting you on the spot right now. Well, yes, I'm be on the part spot. Of my team. So don't be, don't be surprised I'm running past you. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I won't be. I won't be. We're looking forward to it, Stacey. Uh, so good you. to have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. Pleasure. All right. Yeah. Well, there you have it. <laughs> the Sigma Run is happening on February 17. So make sure you're part of it. Gamble in a life, man. All right, there you have her, Stacey McKenzie, 
Hope she'll raise a lot of funds for these local charities. And stay with us right here on stage, still to come. Blessings all from life and she was only 17 when she made her official entry in music in 2017. Now she's the most rotated female artist on the island. She's coming up. But first, Diamond Sock singer Iba Mar, right here on our stage, eager to share his latest release. You don't want to miss that. All coming up. Right here on our stage. In a me diamond socks and me wallaby clocks and a rush shirt and me mesh marina. I tell you, send me in your. Diamond Sox singer Iba Mar is positing freshness at the start of 2019. And all he wants you to do is to concentrate. The more you're trying to concentrate, that's when they want to violate. Iba Mar, right now, right here on our stage. Yeah, man, Mar, bless, bless you, sir. Bless Good to have you. Happy New Year. Yeah, man, same today, man. And thanks for bringing freshness, boss. <laughs> Let's start though with yeah. your big project. How was it? The festival. Yeah. It's not a festival, right? Yeah, it is a festival. Yes. Um, it's a great move. You know, at first I want to thank the artists them, mm -hmm. you know, who come out, you know, for support it. The support uh, was good? Very good. Um, the people, you know, the patrons, the community too, you know, who really and truly like make it, you know, theirs, you know, yes. instead instead of just saying it's an Ibermar show. Is really and truly for the community, so you know, like, and they are taking ownership of it. Definitely, nice. So the community, Alin State, Yorton, you know, Bagwalk, you mm -hmm. know, Geisel, you know, Spanish Town, too, you know, and Kingston, you know, all nice. adjoining communities really and truly, you know, support this move, and the hospital is benefit benefiting, you know, which is 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 one of the greatest, you know, plan. Mm -hmm. Because that's why you did it. Yes, you, exactly. You, you created the event. Yeah. Um, initially to help the hospital, yeah, well, definitely. the Linstead Hospital, yeah, exactly, and uh, and it's an ongoing project. It's an ongoing project, and you know what is interesting about the last staging, you know, is that you know we actually try for connect, you know, with you know our sources like our sponsors, you know, like True Juice, you know, and even Rumbar, so you know, who really and truly like support the event like each year you know okay, we try nice, to connect yes. with them and try for even like you know make a presentation to the hospital even before you know mm. the staging so you know that way we can even have what i call it now basically we need for set like a standard mm -hmm. you know for ourselves you know just you know just making that connection you know linstead is my town this is where my barn and grow and you know, I still live at Linstead and I still support the community, mm -hmm. you know, through the event and, you know, otherwise, too, you know. So, you know, we just want to make it very beneficial for the community. Nice. Well done, my friend. Commendation on yeah. that. Mm -hmm. All right. So the, what's so special about this project, sir? You're very <laughs> excited about this project, this music project now, this, yeah. rec this record yeah. that, you, that you have. And it's part of a wider project, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, man. Um, so... I guess you're talking about the concentrate. Yes, the concentrate. Yes, <laughs> right, special. So I spent like half of the summer in Canada last year, you know, from Toronto to Montreal. And but I spent more more time in a Montreal. Okay. And you know, this would have been my second time like I go to Montreal and really and truly like I work with some of the youths there. And oh. there's a bridging by the name of Preach who introduced me to a next bridging by the name of Raphael. And Raphael is the producer for Gold Up, who is also working with Zach. Oh, I said to me, yeah, okay. So. Yeah, so, so, you know, them decide, say, all right, I am my, you know, use, use my artist, you know, so I want to do a song with you, I want to produce a song with you. And I, I feel like from, from that point on, you know, we go into the studio and, you know, we start working and it was really and truly like an interesting song. It's like a different kind of Ibermar song where you wouldn't hear like, you know, like on the regular. So mm -hmm. it's really a very interesting move for me personally, mm -hmm. you know. So in a way, it's it's a uh, it's a side of you that we've never seen before. In a small way. In a small way. In a small way. So it's 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 freshness in every sense of the word. Yeah, but you know one of the interesting thing about you know Ibermar music is that you know we try to maintain a level 
you know, consciousness, you know, a, a message, music, you know, that is what we always make. You know, so concentrate. The title alone really and truly sums it up for we. Yes. You know, because, you know, even if we try to double into something else like that is not roots and culture, then we want to maintain the foundation, which is the message, you know. The message is what matters. Yeah. So, yes. so we, never, we, never, we never lose track of the message. All right, let's go to it right now then. No? Concentrate. <laughs> when you see your enemy, you pass them, last them. And when you hear your enemy attack, no listen, no. Cause the city's in eyes, and they will tell lies. And they will disguise to take your life. All right, so there you have it. The world premiere of Concentrate world premiere of the song and the video you're seeing it for the first time right you're on our stage nice sir <laughs> what a piece of work so did it yeah. how much did they pull you out of your comfort zone um is is a part of me is a part of me you know where mm -hmm. i feel like i want to express too yes you know and then you know we're in the process where we are working on a new project we're yes. working on a new album and you know, this is an album, you know, that will feature works from Stephen Marley and works from, you know, Damian Marley, oh, possibly, nice. you know. So, we really and truly want to really go in with an open mind, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and make, it, make it work. Yes. And this is working already, Bridget. This is <laughs> No one is so excited about yeah. it. I, I, I would be too if I were you. Yeah, but well, it's record. This so so so, 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 so early into last year, like mid last year, mm -hmm. in, um, we released a song. I'm not officially released the song, but the song is out there for the people them for listen to it and play it near million thoughts. And you know, like people just grab onto this song and you know, from them grab onto that vibes, you know, it was really and truly like a move, you know, for make you know, like a couple more songs like this that people really and truly like would have sing to and dance to. Okay. You know, yeah. So let's let's give them a little piece of yeah. million thoughts. Yeah. Here we go. A million words with a million thoughts. A million ways to escape, but a million ways to get caught. No. All right, so there you have it, a taste of million thoughts. If you didn't know it before, now you know. You need to check this record. All right, so Iba, so going forward now, big album coming up. Mm -hmm. Will it be ready this year? Hopefully. 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 But will it, so you're recording here in Canada or? Here, Canada, um, Texas and in a Holland. Yeah. yeah. And you you're talking some big names when it comes to producers. Yes. Damian and Steve man them kind of yeah. Grammy winning artists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like so like a massive project. I'm happy for you my friend that yeah. you're you're open to all these big ideas and 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 you're walking in that international space. Yeah, the music requires attention and you know that is you know what we're doing you know mm -hmm. right now because I wear two hats you know each year you know promoting the show and you know making music you know so I want to maintain both of that. Okay, how do equally. people feel about reggae out there right now? What's the feedback you're getting and in the international market? People are excited, you know. Um, about the music, I, I think people are even more excited about the culture too, you know. Mm. So it's like bringing Jamaica into Europe, bringing Jamaica into California, bringing Jamaica into the diaspora, you know, like in you know, America and New York and you know, like Miami and these places. So you know, it's, it's really and truly like a joy out there, you know, for the music. And you know, I salute the artists them who continue to keep it positive. So and I salute the artists them who continue to make the culture really and truly popular. Yes. Because it's a popular culture out there for people. Okay, so it's, a, it's, it's like they're looking for a Jamaican experience. Exactly. And, and this is where they get through the music. Yeah, and not just, not just a record, but an experience, a Jamaican culture, a cultural experience okay. um, from Jamaica. Because there's so much about us that sometimes we deliver in negative ways. Yeah. I, I sometimes don't feel like it's a negative, negative projection. Some people live you know, a certain kind of way, they have a certain experience, and then music is really and truly like a window, you know, for more Expressing youths, that, you yeah. know, like, you know, from the ghetto or from certain kind of country place, you know. So it's just an expression of experience, and sometimes we need to respect it too, mm -hmm. more than, you know, try, you know, try shun it. Yes. But here's what they must bear in mind, because we understand that. 
you know, you're, you're living your truth. And nothing is telling more truth than dancehall, you know. That's all. It's telling the raw truth. It's, yes. just, it's so raw. Mm -hmm. It's ugly. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes we think that if if you spare us <laughs> our ears, mm -hmm. we're better off, or for our even even give ourselves a false sense of security. Mm -hmm. But what must be remembered by all of us is that the world, especially now, the world wants love, not, and that's what they want from us. They want that 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 one love sound. Yeah. It is not expired true that one love song that love that jamaica brought to music yeah. and and the well-being of the underclass yeah. of the of the poor of those who are downtrodden those who are, but, but are what, what, oppressed jamaica brought loved and spread it to all and jamaica was very inclusive in in those in, in in going out there and spreading love it wasn't saying for only black people it was talking to everyone. And I think that's what they want from us. Mm -hmm. So when we go violence, when we go to violence route, I'm out. <laughs> they no want it because they have more violence than us. <laughs> Their violence is more sophisticated. Their violence is nuclear. So Jamaica cannot match, cannot compete but throughout my with experience, violence. Throughout my experiences, and you know, just I travel the world, and you know, just listen to the music, the popular music, then on the radio, like when you go in a different countries, mm -hmm. like people just want to have, want to hear this raw expression. Yeah. People salute that sort of expression. Like, me, re me really and truly like see that happen, like right across the world. Yeah. You know? And, you know, them. By them, raw expression, you mean? Explain that for like, me. Like, you know, like the, your growth, you know, like where you come from. People want to hear it through your music too, you know? Yes. So when, not like, necessarily like promoting violence, but... But t talking your truth. Exactly. That's it. But part of why they're on to us too is because when they look at where we're, we're yeah. coming from yeah. and listen to the love we're spitting, yeah. even though we have a lot to be, to be angry about, yes. to be unloving about, yeah. and yet we're, we're talking love, we're singing love, for people we don't even know. And that is what I believe got people to be hooked on what we're doing. That's part of their lure to reggae. Because reggae, we, where we're coming from, how yeah. we lived, our experience, our experience in this country, uh -huh. is this former slave enclave for the British. And we can't talk about love so much, bridging. Then, yeah. then people no must be impressed. Yeah. Because we're not supposed to talk love. We're supposed to hate the world for what we've been through. We're taken from Africa, brought here, put into slavery, living in slums. And sure. out of that slum came love. More love spewing in records and on records than, than anywhere else. Pure love for everyone, too. That's what I'm saying. When people look at that, you cannot resist it. It makes you go deeper in you and, these are and these give are, up some love too. These are some of the things that we put in our music. That's yeah. why we could have said a million words with a million thoughts and a million ways to escape, but a million ways to get caught. You know, sometimes it depends. You know, like people who really and truly take note of, of the repercussion after doing something, you know, like them understand exactly like what they might do before they even do it. Yes. Not many people understand what they might do before them do. You know? Absolutely. And, and that's what I'm saying. On a commercial level, mm -hmm. a purely commercial level, mm -hmm. where you're doing music for the sell music, mm -hmm. they're not going to buy Jamaica's violence. If they want violence, they might have places. <laughs> they have the US. Mm -hmm. They have more guns there and the baddest guns. What I'm ch saying is that there's. There are people who are much better at violence than us. So to tell people in music how to kill man, it's not going to impress nobody but True. some other Jamaica. It's not going to impress the world. That's, that's what I'm saying. Even if it's a commercial thing, I do. Mm -hmm. The world is not going to buy your way of killing people. Because yeah. they know more sophisticated ways of killing people. Or the itinerary look for the rest of the year now, in terms so, of touring and things. So we're going to Europe. Um, again this summer, um, I'm basically like work on the album, you know, in and out, you know, at the island. So that is really and truly like the mission, the album and the Europe tour, you know, probably couple stops in America and Canada too. So, ah, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Ivor, blessed love, sir. Thanks Anytime. for coming and sharing the project with us. Yeah, man. Okay, and um, when the bigger project comes, you know where to come. All right, for some of the people them, who don't get a chance for Summer Perform live, I sung the alarm last year, you can Summer Perform at the Bob Marley Museum. Um, okay. Yeah. February 6th. Oh, let's <laughs> celebrating the king. Yes. You know, salute, salute to the legend. All right, there you hear it. Yeah. February 6th at the museum, 56 Hope Road. Celebrating the king of reggae, Bob Marley. All right, stay with us right here on stage. Still to come. Yeah. Simply coffee. Don't want to miss that. We were back. Yeah, blessings fall by my right hand. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Michaela Simpson was only 17 when she made her official music entry in 2017 with this track. Reggae muffin, reggae beat, eh? dance all on the street. Eh? A year later, the Jamaica Reggae Industry Association, Jiraiya, declared her the best new artist of 2017. Fast forward a few months, and uh, she had graced some of the most uh, coveted stages on the planet. Toured with artists like Chronix and Protégé. And most of all, found a song that thrust the teenager in the forefront of Jamaica's music. A track so palatable, it meets pretty much every taste bud in the space. Burning Dances Radio, just about every reggae dance soul platform in the world. The track is titled Toast, while she goes by the simple moniker, Coffee. Both on our stage right now. Coffee. Greetings. Greetings. Good to have you. Thank you. Finally on our stage. Thank you. All right. So tell us about your remarkable rise in the last two years. Give us your perspective on it. Um, I would say that it has been a huge blessing. Mm -hmm. um, very quick. So it's been a lot to keep up with. Yes. It's just like, it's just generated so much gratitude that I can't even explain. I can just be thankful. Okay. So the, the, the moment, that re Rebel Salute moment in 2018 with the great Coco T. Yes. Explain for us how that impacted everything. Was um, that the, the watershed moment, the moment that changed it all for you? Or were you on your way before that? I would say that was definitely one of the moments that changed it all for me. Yes. Um, just before that, I had made a tribute to Usain Bolt, and he had actually reposted that on Instagram, so it took off on social media. So he was basically the onset, I should say, because that was where my first popularity came from in the music industry, within the music industry. Mm -hmm. After that, I linked with the Walsh Fire. He reached out to me and sent me some beats, and I remember meeting with him at a studio once and Coco Tea was there. So that's how I got introduced to Coco Tea through Worship Fire. And Coco Tea basically just listened to some of, my, some of my music and decided that he wanted to bring me on stage to Rebel Salute. That was just about a month before Rebel Salute. It was in December of 2017. Mm -hmm. And that was, I would say that was a milestone in my career, in my journey. Okay, so, so, all right, so at what point did you decide that music is what you want to do? I remember leaving high school, graduating high school, and wanting to attend sixth form. So I applied, but I didn't get through. So I remember choosing at that moment that music was going to do it for me instead of academics at the time. Okay, so what did you want to study? I was actually trying to be a pharmacist. So I was studying the sciences and... So, but, but music was just a, part, um, a pastime for you? It was, at that it point? was, it was at that point. It was. Though you could play the guitar? Yes. So you didn't see your playing as something that you could live off? Um, or a career? You weren't dreaming of any career in music? Not necessarily. I just a pharmacist? Had a, yeah. <laughs> I had a mere passion for music, but I didn't see it being an instrument to necessarily make me successful yes. at that time. So in 2017, uh, at the end of 2017, when you were named the new artist of the year by Jarrell, 
How did you feel about that? Was that? Did that come as a surprise for you? It did, and I felt really overwhelmed positively because I didn't expect that within such a short space of time my music would be recognized. And with, that was just one song I think I'd released up to that point, so I didn't expect that okay. so quickly. <laughs> yeah, so that must have given you Lots of motivation. Most definitely. And confidence most to go forward. Most definitely. Before we go into this big song, talk about some of your influences in music. Because I one one of them jumped out at me as looking at your bio. Okay. Super Cat <laughs> is one of your influencers. I would say that to um, to a small extent in the sense that I didn't I wasn't able to study his music or grow up on it, but I yes. knew a few Supercat songs and when I think about my flow and my delivery I can relate it to him if nobody else. Okay. Yes. Some of your styling and so on. Yes, yes. And you 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 and when we look at the others, you you you're very unique in your taste in what you, you listen to, yes. aren't you? It, for your age, I would say a bit. I would say you're not in your. You're listening to all kinds of things. I know. Yeah. And you're not defining yourself as reggae or dancehall or anything, aren't not you? Not yet. I wouldn't like to do that just yet. Yes. But your leaning is towards roots, right? Roots, Isn't it? definitely. I would say that. And your lyrical lane, so to speak, is wide open but very conscious. Yes, and, and, and will remain so. <laughs> and will remain will so. Will remain so. It's, it's very um, inspiring Thank to you. see a youngster at, at your age being able to do a song that is cutting across demographic groups. You can even be played in church. This, <laughs> this toast, can, it's toasting even church right now. And, uh, and it goes to show that um, kids are not um, one dimensional yeah, in their consumption all. and expression. Not at all. I wouldn't say that about my peers either. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. So, so, so that you, I hope, will influence some of them to look That's like. That's what I'm hoping to, to do. To consume like you consume. Because when you I'm look at Super Cat and some of the others that you listen to as a youngster, one wouldn't think that seeing you wearing a, a headset that you would be listening to some of yeah, those. Yeah, I understand. Them, them kind of music. So. That is very, very inspiring, I believe, and I Thank believe you. the space needs someone like you right now. Anyway, so the big song. Toast. Why is it called Toast, by the way? Toast. Yes. I remember making a big thing about that line when I was writing the song, because there's a break just before it. Yes. And I was like, Toast? So it's like, <laughs> I don't know if you may be able to understand, but as a writer, I was thinking about complimenting the rhythm and the toast just came right after that, that break in the rhythm, so I thought that it stood out. So when I was finished writing the song, I was thinking about naming it Blessings mm -hmm. or Blessings All On My Life, and then yes. I was like, mm, when I listened to it over and over, the toast keeps standing out, so I thought mm -hmm. that I should, I should name it Toast. Yeah, and, and you, Coffee, talk about your <laughs> name now then. <laughs> Coffee, toast, coffee and toast. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great combination, by the way, Thank for, for you. me personally. I like, I like coffee and toast. Thank you. So, yeah, so, so yeah, your coffee name? Um, that name was given to me when I was in grade seven, actually, yeah. by Cody Richards, who's my classmate. Mm -hmm. She actually just saw me in the cafeteria one day, it was in September, so it was really warm, and I was drinking a cup of coffee for lunch. Yeah, at that time, mommy was a Christian, we were Adventists at the time, so you know, we're not supposed to be drinking coffee, so young, so you yes. know, at home I can't be drinking it. So I went to school and I was like, oh, there's coffee. <laughs> so, yes. so I tried something and then it, I came out as a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's very unusual for somebody your age to be drinking. And, exactly. And you liked it? You, li you re actually like coffee? No, I wouldn't say. It was a bit bitter. It was really bitter. It was really bitter, actually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I thought it should. Normally it should. All right. So, Okay, so you're, um, you've toured, talk about your touring with people like Chronix and those, and Protégé, and, the, and your experience in those markets overseas that you've performed. Um, well, I was given the opportunity to perform in the UK, courtesy of Chronix mm -hmm. and Protégé, because they had a show together in, at a place called Alexandra Palace, and actually I have to big them up for selling out the show, 10,000 people, that was a great mm -hmm. accomplishment. And I think that definitely set the pace and the mood for me to have a great time on stage. And hence it was a great opportunity for me being there, and mm -hmm. experiencing that. It's a great vibe. I do realize that there's love for reggae music outside of Jamaica. Like, 
a really strong crazy love, love, crazy out love, there. crazy love, and I can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to be able to be exposed to that from now, so I can appreciate it and want to work harder to expand that. Mm -hmm. So it's been good so far, and I definitely look forward to going to more places. All right, so take, take us back to the first moment on a stage like that. <laughs> 10,000 people screaming yeah. out. <laughs> and you're the little girl from Spanish Town in Definitely. Jamaica. How did that moment feel when you, when you were now called on and walking out? What, what went through your mind? <sighs> Just excitement. It was, it was so crazy at the time. I mean, the, the, the vibe was already there. Chronix had already set the pace because he was on stage for probably about an hour by the time I got there. And mm -hmm. people are blazed fire, yeah, see flags and stuff, Jamaican flags. and. Mm -hmm. Like it was so beautiful, the lights are there. It was just, it was just amazing. It's all, always an awesome moment being on stage and you know being able to connect with people in a way like that. So in walking out, you you weren't nervous. You you just I went would out say no. I were? would say I was a bit nervous. I would say because that was probably one of the biggest crowds I'd ever seen or the hugest audiences that I'd ever come across. Oh wow! <laughs> the song is is now a, a massive, maybe the most rotated record Thank you. in Jamaica <laughs> Thank at the you. moment. Thank and you. Um, certainly for a female artist. No female artist is getting the love in terms of <laughs> airplay that you're getting right now. I appreciate that. In Jamaica, in terms of your career, how does it help your confidence and, your, and how you will move forward? Um, the feedback is always something that I do look forward to. And I remember before releasing Toast that I remember saying to my team that um, putting out this new music that I'm about to put out, I would love first and foremost, or most of all, to see and hear what people have to say, to see if the people love it. Because I think, as an artist, I think I do have a great responsibility to ensure that the consumers are happy because that's how the, the business work, the business yes. part of it works. So um, I feel good that they're loving, they, uh, the people are loving what they're seeing and hearing so far, and I feel motivated to continue in a similarly positive and inspiring, hopefully, mm -hmm. path, and just to like, keep going harder in the same direction, knowing that I haven't done anything wrong in their eyes mm -hmm. just yet. So I feel happy <laughs> knowing that. I feel happy knowing that we, you know, we okay. started off. <laughs> <You're reserved. laughs> right? You reserve the right to do a little wrong. Yeah, you deserve a little wrong. Because you've done so many things that are right. Thank you. You've done well with, on the right side of things. So Thank you. A little wrong, we'll forgive you. <laughs> Thank All you. All right. OK, so your, um, your team, the people around you, who are they? I would say no, there's definitely the team from Columbia because of UK. There mm -hmm. is Tamara Chang and there is Pierre Bust. Those are both my management. And just a few other people that I'm not sure would like to be named at this point. Mm -hmm. But okay. yeah, we're, we're building the team and it's so, good so far. So there are some faceless people. <laughs> yeah, so far, so far, so far. All right, and um, going forward, um, what can you tell us about that? Before you do that, let's go back to Spanish Town a little, can we? Yeah, sure. Um, sure. About your, your upbringing in Spanish Town and um, El Tham? Is El Tham View, yes. Yes. So talk a, look, a little bit about that, so you're growing up. Um, growing up in Eltham View was a fairly quiet life for me because I was always a house rat, but mm -hmm. um, it was quiet outside generally. And Spanish Town, in Spanish Town, Eltham View is right next to Ensom City where Chronix is from. Okay. Actually, but I didn't know him growing up, but we kind of grew up in similar communities, obviously. So I think the influences are very similar. And no, no, I haven't always been like a street girl, as I said, because I was a house rat, but it's mm -hmm. been you know, fairly quiet. I went to the Ensom City Primary School, just around the road from my home. And then, yeah, I went to Arden High School when I was 12, so I started traversing from Spanish Town to Kingston on the daily, and you know, kind of mix of influences started coming in at that point. And the family? The family? Um, I was raised by mommy. Oh, single yes, mom. Yes, I was, I've always lived in the same house in Spanish Town growing up, so yeah, it was always a Spanish Town life for me. Okay, and yeah. your father? Um, he actually has lived abroad for quite a while now, and we do communicate, but he isn't necessarily, we aren't very close 
to be honest with you. Wow, wow. Yeah. another one of those. Wow, unfortunately. <laughs> it's good, but I mean, it's yeah, a good guy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. You're, you're very nice. You're very kind. <laughs> Thank I you. I suspect. <laughs> okay, so upcoming projects. Yes. An EP in the works? Yes, I'm told. definitely. Okay, so what can you tell us about that and when can we see that? It's titled The Rapture and my team and I had earlier, earlier promised that it would be out by February but unfortunately we had to push it back until mid-March. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at mid-March. We um, can definitely expect some new songs, mm -hmm. more flows and lyrics and a little bit more, I think I would say, experimenting as it relates to music, redeems, genres and there's a lot to expect. And bookings, I suspect that you'll be going off the, yes. the lot uh, in the summer, right? Yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit. Mm. I would hope um, a lot more than, you know, I've already have in place, so bookings I'm open for currently. Who are you in music in, in say, 10 years? In 10 years, I would like to be one of the influences that continue to keep the fire burning positively, especially for the youth and for the people who really need it. Yes. And I would like to say, rather than being probably one of the greatest reggae artists per se, I would like to be one of the biggest influencers, whether people listen to my music or not. I want to be a very positive influence on my society in Jamaica and on a wider scale you know, in the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Thank you. What a, what a pleasure it is to Thank have you. you. And don't be burdened by that. Whatever you can do, do. Have some fun. Thank you're you. You're still a child. Thank you. Um, while doing it, but that's a big one you're taking on. Thank you. But we could do with it, but we, we, we should, none of us should pressure you to take that on. I can't commend you enough for, you. for your achievement. Thank you. And we hope and look forward to when you will come back to our stage. I hope Thank your management you. will send you back and that time Thank you will you, perform definitely. for us live I on the stage. I do hope so. Do what you do best. Thank you. And that by then you, your catalog will have to we'll beg you to not sing, sing all of them ah. because <laughs> you've got so much. So as we say, next time you come, you come live. Yes, on our please. Stage. Thank <laughs> you so much. I appreciate you having me. All right. There you have it right here on our <laughs> stage. Coffee. Simply <laughs> coffee. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. So we are coming with a force. Yeah. Let's into the reap of a course in our Oh, we not rise on boards. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it no more. We have to give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful. Blessings are for my life, and we thank God for the journey, the earnings, it's just for the plus. Yeah, I got to do this a must. Yeah, it's a blessing for all my right hand. So, but I trust the difference. So, take off every road one time, let's sit down in a class, and we both then all this in the road, and we go with the road. Third one, we say, we may try a thing. I ain't no it for me. No one fun said we can it say I sing and you see me all the kids who get it like a ring like hello brother you have to show ya saw your photo spectacular photo keep it burning yes that's the motto if me the photo pass to your soul to get all in a life man may I thank God for the journey the earnings are just to the plus all right thanks for watching our video you know what to do click subscribe and be on our stage always